you really think that's going to help? What did Sam mean when she said, have you told him? I don't know. You must know. What's he got to do with you anyway? I'm your mother. Gets you out of everything, that one, doesn't it? Nan was right. It was like this when you was going to meet Harry. Had your little secret then and all, didn't you? Yeah, and you had yours. And yours beat mine hands down. I had to tell you. I did. This ain't then, Cat. What are you saying? That you wish you never knew? Well, are you? You have to push it and push it, didn't you? Wring every last drop of information out. Make me cry, make me relive it all just so you can know everything about me. Maybe I don't want you to know. So there is more. I'm sick of the third degree. You always banging on about me and my mum at times like this. The rest of the time, you hardly bother. I mean, can't you just say that I made a mistake and you love me and everything's fine and I go into the world happy? You are my daughter and that pervert took advantage of you. I did what I did willingly, OK? This is not Harry all over again, Kat. This ain't your chance to right his wrongs. Uh, Pauline, ah. I... I'm sorry about what I said earlier. As usual, I mouthed off before knowing a full story. Don't worry. I'd have done the same. In fact, I think I did. Talk about history repeating itself. Yeah. What did then do? I mean, when it all came out about Michelle, did he lie low? Huh? No, not at all. No, he fronted it out like he always has done. So you, you don't think he'd leave to avoid the flak, then? What? Dennis Watts, he loves flak. No shame at all. Uh. Have Dennis and uh, Sharon said anything about seeing him? Not to me, no, sorry. No. Oh, didn't know you was here. I'm as much in the dark as you are, Charlie. We came back specifically to see him. Well, if you do hear anything, can you let me know? Well, I know he's your old man and everything, but I really want to get my hands on him. Join the queue. He'll come out the woodwork one day, he always does. Yeah. Let's hope so. <laughs> do you really want to get away from me that much? Yeah. OK, fine. I'll help you. Mind? There you go. See ya. Have a nice life. I'll tell you something about secrets, though. They live with you. And you can run as far away as you like. They'll always be there. For you, maybe. got nothing better to do. Name, please, sir. Charlie Slater. So what was all that about, then, Charlie? You've got to get rid of that copper cat and you've got to tell the rest of the family to stop asking questions. Why should I? You ain't told me nothing yet. I'm really serious. Just tell them that you know where Denny's now and there's nothing they can do. You've got to put a lid on what this. What's going on? I'm warning you, cat, otherwise you won't see me again. Don't you start. Emotional blackmail, don't wash me. I'm me. really serious. If they start asking too many questions, the things are going to come down. What things? Zoe, you started this with your little announcement in the pub. Now, will you be straight with me? Come on! He's dead! I was there. Sorry, what are you saying? I was there... If you don't shut them up right now, then I am looking at a prison term. Once they start sniffing What's around... Happened? Look, I'll tell you everything, I promise. Just stop them first, please. Please. All right, darling. All right. <gasps> It was nothing. He, he just said something that upset me. Who were they talking about? My daughter. What about your daughter? <laughs> well, she... He's talking about me, officer. I've shown my dad up again. I had a few too many drinks last night and ended up getting mixed up with that bloke out there. He's only looking out for me. He didn't mean anything by it. You can't just go around starting fights with people. Especially at your age. Betty, come in here. Leave him alone. Hmm? Here. Do you remember when Pete tried to fix the central heating in the flat? Oh, do I? I tell you, it was the middle of winter. I ended up having to wear an extra pair of socks just to go to bed. Oh, you still do. Mm. <laughs> 
Oh, do you want some more, Auntie Pawn? Well, I don't know how much have I had. Oh, you've, you've hardly had any. I think um, Shan's been drinking most of it. Oh, you? yeah, bottomless pit, mate. Yeah, just a little well. bit. <laughs> hey, listen, Dennis hasn't been too stroppy, has he? No, no. It's nice to have a bit of life in the house. <gasps> oh, stupid thing! <laughs> Zoe! Get away from me! Zoe! How can you believe her, though? She wouldn't lie to me. Not after everything we've been through. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, until all the secrets come out. Well, she's hyper one minute, like a zombie the next. I don't know who she is anymore. Well, I do. She's my little girl. I know what's going on. So what you're saying is we're gonna let him get away with it? Well, I'm not particularly happy about it myself, Dad. Oh. But we've got to respect what she wants. Okay. I'll have a word with her. What? You think you can get through to her better than I can? I promised her that you'd leave it. You're gonna make me break that? I've got to get some here. It's gone very quiet in there. Let's see how he's getting on. Come on. Mm. I'll get my snorkel. <laughs> All right. Mm. Wow, all done. Best two hours of my life. There you go, Pauline. He does have his uses. Yeah. Still running away very slowly, though. I've cleared half a bucket of gunk away from those pipes. Yeah, well, never mind. I'm still going to have another plunge. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Zoe. She went that way. You can catch if you hurry. Cat! Thanks for doing that. That's all right. She's an old boot, but I suppose you got to love her. Yeah. You know, I thought that a lot today, seeing all the old faces. Mm. There's only one face I was interested in seeing. He's not even here, so why don't we just go? Right, yeah. I thought we'd get packed up and head to Brighton. When? Tonight. Tonight? What about the bookies? Well, you know, the wheels are in motion. They can just call me on the mobile. Sharon? Uh, yeah? <laughs> Don't know me own strength. <laughs> Arnie Pullman, I think you need another one just to uh, calm your nerves down. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? The station's temporarily closed. Why? Defective train. I've got a plane to catch. There's a bus over there. Wait! 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 I could have had my little man up. Go away. So here we are again. You know exactly how to use me, didn't you? Make out I'm being hard. Accuse me of pretending to be a mum just so you can get what you want. What has happened to you, Zoe? Am I that hard to talk to? You don't want to know. I do. Just say it so. Just tell me what you meant. Me, Sam and Chrissy killed Den. We got him to the Vic and we killed him. With your sisters? I don't know. They nearly knocked me down out there. Has anything happened? Oh, they're always like that. I won't worry. Give me a pint, please, mate. Yeah. Guys, I'll kick you off down there with Cat and Zoe. Say something. Um, you, you killed him. What, what do you mean? Did he fall? He was smashed over the head. Once by me, once by Chrissy. I thought I could get away without telling you. But you just don't let up, do you? No. <clears throat> now you're a little girl, you can't do things like that. Well, I did. So you're gonna have to rethink that little girl thing. 
Tell me the story from the start. You don't want to hear it. Just tell me so. If I tell you, we will have nothing left. You won't want to know Just me. Just tell me. Denise were unhappy. I could tell. I didn't want him to leave me, so Den said I should tell him I was pregnant. I did. And he stayed. He was really sweet to me for a while. But I weren't pregnant and he weren't gonna make me. And I needed to be pregnant. I was so desperate. So I went to Den. in pieces. I wanted you to be here. I didn't know what to do. Please don't look at me like that, Cat. You've got to make it all right, Cat. Please. Cat. <laughs> 